much longer. If I can help it. If I can help it. Okay. Today is date. April 7th, 2021. I'm not really trying to do the vlog thing, but I honestly, when I film, it's, um, and then upload, you usually get, hold on, let me put my window up so it's nice. It's usually the next day I upload it. So I pretty much do vlog styles, but I want my channel to also be uh, travel. Um, I'm not really trying to be a historian, so don't like, oh, she knows all the facts about everything. I'm not trying to be no Hugh Hauser here or Samantha Brown, oh. although I could be. But I'm just in it to explore and like, you know, look at things around me and, you know, view the wondrous beauty also around me. So for today's travel, I thought, well, it's not going to be a video through the lens of my dashboard. Hold on. I'm going to, this guy's going fast. I'm scaredy cat. I'm scaredy cat on this road. People sail down it. I can't. I'm just like, oh, I'll get over. Anyways. <laughs> so, uh, I thought I would take you to the next historical town that is in this area. There are a few historical towns. Actually, um, this would probably be the third and final historical town. Well, third. Oh, I've done four. Mm. I, don't, I can't remember anymore, but because, like I said, I do plan on moving here soon, so I'm going to try to incorporate that travel if I can move. I don't want to just be like, I'm moving, and then I don't, because I don't, I haven't gotten it in, like, in the works yet. I'm still kind of planning it, and trying to figure everything out and the other thing right now with if you want to move to an apartment you have to do an interview in person and I plan on moving to a state that's across the other side of the country so I gotta travel I gotta plan a trip I should say to uh, to that state first then figure out if I even want to get this apartment, which I'm pretty sure I do. I really like it. I like the community. I like the town. I've been kind of doing a little bit of a little bit of research on it, and I like it. So I think I'm gonna plan a trip there and probably steal the deal on it because I have I've gotten what I want out of this state. There's only a few more things I want to do here. And right now they're so limited in capacity that anytime I go to sign up to do them, they're already like booked. But I have high hopes that I'll get them in before I leave because I'm not gone yet. The mountains and the windmills over there are so pretty. So anyways, I'm going to take you to the historical town of Isleton today. And I'm sorry about the gross windshield. I am out of juice and I forgot to get some and um, when I do I'll put some in but yeah. Cool. That is the goal for today. Isleton. And if not we'll just tool around the island and we'll see what's going on and I just you know I I feel like doing these kinds of things are good for me so just lets me get it all off my chest and it's nothing big it's just you know I'm thinking about moving and it's to be closer to family you know that's the whole goal I want to be closer to family I've gotten everything I need from out here which was just to experience California and I got that experience I've been here for eight years but anyways okay we'll get on with Ielton because that's gonna be long enough of a video all right gonna start off right here Pierce Steakhouse now all of this right here is all waterfront property so everything 
on this side because see it's but everything over here on this side it's a nice view of the river which is nice it's very nice now this mural is awesome look at this giant lobster breakfast lunch and dinner at manny's barzeria it's fancy something Get it all in with one shot. Another kind of. Didn't have to go that far back, I guess. It's cool. Oh, he's even got a top hat. Save somebody from near lunch experience. Yeah, someone almost lost their lunch. Left their lunch behind, but luckily I was paying attention. So the other thing too is these old I don't want to get the apartments in shot, but the old hotel hotel sign there is My phone doesn't just want to snap out of like what it's focusing on so I can take a photo. Alright, so what we do know about Hylton. We're not even on downtown. I just wanted to come take a look at this street real quick because it's pretty cool. I like all the old text architectures and the old buildings and well, outdoor dining. Oh. oh, I like that fountain. It's so pretty. Huh. So, oh, we got ourselves more neon. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Done. Huh. Looks like it's still open, maybe. I don't know, this building's old. Oh, it's cool. I figured. Well, I guess we can, oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to take you past this bait shop right here because <laughs> look at one of the best bait signs I've ever seen. Bob's bait. The master baiter. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. We'll head on down to Main Street. I just noticed someone's shoe print. Got left in the concrete right there. That's so funny. I missed a neon sign right there at the Del Rio. The little casino sign. That is so cute. Oh wait, there's another one right there. I don't know what it is about neon. My brother used to make neon signs, so maybe that's what it is. I don't know. 
It looked like it just turned off and my camera or faded, but it's still, wow. Here, anyway. is in that direction. This place is beautiful. This is a bad old, old turn up there. I'm gonna hop to the other side of the street. Oh, much better, I'm not in the sun now. Okay, so here is what I know about Isleton. It is one of the oldest historical towns. It also was once divided be between, right here on Main Street, was divided between the east side and the west side. The west side was the Chinese district, the east side was the Japanese district. Because when they came over here, when they migrated over here for our agricultural work, I don't know, they just didn't really get along, I guess. And they're also on the National Historic Register, both, both sides of the street. So, walking down a historical street right now. Oh, this old building. I love old towns like this and, and stained glass. I'm like, it sounds so weird with the wood. <laughs> now look at this. Delta Days in. <sighs> oh. I was gonna get dinner from here the other night. Maybe we'll hop back over to the other side just so I can see some of this stuff. Oh yeah, the Isleton Chamber of Commerce. That's pretty cool. See, there's a highway right there going by. Get a different view across the street. I don't know what they're doing over here. They're making lots of noise. I don't know, what's this? Hilton, Bing, Kong, Tong. I'm right here from 1926 into the 1950s. So, Hilton was founded in 1876. I believe I said that, but holy, holy heck. That is old. <laughs> Just gonna say. So, reconstruction of this building is scheduled to be completed by the spring of 2020. This building? You can smell the paint. You can see all the. No, I'm not sure which side is which. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you smell the paint. Because when I drove, drove down here, I'm pretty sure it is exactly due east. Let's see here. Reforming. Oh, gee, Leo was dying and sleeping. That's cool. This little bar here is so cute. No joke, I was gonna say, oh, someone's doing our laundry. There's the laundry man. <laughs> keep this old painted mural stuff up even if it's not in town anymore and still here in spirit so 
that gazebo over there. That was for all of, in dedication to all the workers that came over here. I've gotten a closer look at that on previous days that I've been here, so I'll show you that footage. Where it's coming from. You can hear old timey street music when we're like Oh, it must be. Now, from my research on this place, what little I do know, it used to be divided up between an east coast or an east side and a west side, the Japanese and the Chinese. This side, I do believe, must be the Chinese side of town. Because right here, we happen to have ourselves a Chinese pavilion that was dedicated to the laborers on Ielton. Yeah, those dragons are cool. If there was no barking dog, that would be awesome. <laughs> that looks like that's been here for quite some time. There's a lot more to see here. I don't get away from this barking dog. <laughs> oh my god. Back around in a circle we go. One day, one dollar. All the hard work they did in the fields. I really should, I'll just do this. Now I'll, I'll go back and I'll do a little bit more digging on the history of Ialden. I literally just showed up here. I live nearby. <laughs> I wanted to film because it's so cool here. I don't know much. What I do know though is that the town was divided between Japanese and Chinese for a long time. Prosperity and harmony. And then you got yourself a little ramp. Well, it goes all the way around, too. Huh. <laughs> huh, that's cool. All the historical towns. That's pretty old. The neighboring town, Locke, which Lock is in that direction. That town wasn't founded until 1915. So this is an old town. I'm gonna take a look around. I like the brickwork. Even this right here, look at it. <laughs> The structure right here is kind of and how everything is like is how how all the architecture is in lock too. 
I suppose. Go down. There's, there's these little. Someone painted their hands on the sidewalk right here. It's cute. And for now, I'm gonna head on off to the Riverside Edge. Dry Goods Store was owned by Kakotaro and Kika Nakagano in Isleton's thriving Japanese town. So this, okay, so that makes sense. Chinese side of town, Japanese side of town. Hmm. And I believe that's what it said here up on the sign. Cool. This old grate. Wow, oh, just stuff like this that's like. So cool. I just realized that's porcelain. Who does anything in porcelain anymore? Okay, I get distracted by the little things, but that's okay. <laughs> gnomes. I love gnomes, but those are some, those are some mm, questionable gnomes. 360 of the park. I didn't get it in before because of that guy's boom boom music. This is a nice park. Brought to you by our mayor and the vice mayor and some of your chair people. Looks like someone burnt something in that tree. How mean. What did that tree do to you? Uh, okay. So this is what it looks like on top of the levee. I really hope I don't get copyright struck because it has boom boom music, but let's see here. This is the William Ramos Public Park. I just thought I've, I've never been down here before. I'm just going to take a quick look. Oh, this is nice. How come I've never stopped here before? Look at the duckies. Ducky, I mean. This is beautiful. I found myself a new little spot to come in the summer. A little tiny lamp here. This little bench in the shade. What a life, right? <laughs> Wondering. Take a closer look at this duck down here. I don't want to scare it though. I'm scaring it because it's running away. Don't go nowhere, Mr. Duck. I like you. I think he doesn't know what to do no more. <laughs> He's surrounded by humans. the dog. I think those get scared it away. Hmm. Take a view down this way. 
Um, okay. Some people, like these people are here, get to live. These people are here, they get to live right on the river. That's why they say, stay in school, kids. Stay in school. And if my hair looks a mess, it's because it is. <laughs> it is super windy on the Delta, just so you know. kids coming up. Okay, everybody. Well, I really hope you enjoy that. I know sometimes I, I don't do intros. I don't do outros. Oh, it <laughs> it's mostly because of my phone. Looks like it's thirsty. Anyways, I'm so oh, shit, I'm the same hair color as me, working. Anyways, I am sorry, normally I don't do an intro or an outro. That's because of my phone usually and all of that, so eventually one of these days I'll get my stuff together. But for right now, I'm still kind of like going with the flow of this whole travel vlogging thing. And I'm having fun doing it, so if you enjoyed this, please subscribe because it does keep you in the loop of what I'll be doing next. Also, make sure to like because that just makes helps me know that I'm doing a good job and you like the videos and, you know, all that. So, I will see you all later. I'm trying to block the people walking by. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. and that lady had to pee really bad. She almost plowed me out of the way. <laughs> uh -huh.